<laughs> Any other thoughts that you have about uh, this particular race? That, that's well, if it, if it should turn out that Credible wins, it's going to be difficult for him to maintain that seat because in a normal year, that's going to be a Republican seat. So he's going to have to really do his homework, assuming he wins. Um, to be able to stay in office in two years, four years, six years. Hi, this is Don Norris. I'm professor and chair of the Department of Public Policy at UMBC. We've just uh, completed an interview with WJZ Channel 13 TV on the outcome of the first district, first congressional district race in Maryland. And the reason that they came out to talk with me is because it's a very, very close race with the um, Democratic challenger, um, Frank Cradiville, up about 2,000 votes over the Repub Republican uh, challenger. This is an open seat. Um, uh, Andy Harris. It's a big surprise because this is a very strong Republican district uh, and everybody was pretty much expecting that it would go uh, to the Republican, uh, but Craddaville is up about 2,000 votes at the moment, though all of the absentee and provisional ballots have not been counted. But it does appear uh, that two, the 2,000 vote lead with the few ballots yet to be counted uh, means that this is probably Craddaville's race. This has been Don Norris. Uh, Professor and Chair, Department of Public Policy, for UMBC's Talking Heads blog.